Good afternoon. This is the Athens City Planning Commission. Uh, we have a quorum. Sorry about the delay, but we did not have one at that uh, 12 o'clock. It is November 4th, 2009, Wednesday, about 12.25. Um, let's see, since we have a quorum status of three and we're waiting for a fourth, but we won't actually wait. Uh, I need to have anybody who plans to speak today to stand and be sworn in. Do you swear and affirm to tell the truth? Okay, thank you. Okay, we have two cases to get today, um, 0909 and 0910. Uh, Cody Rentals, uh, 49 Stewart Street is 0909. This is a Title 41 Site Plan Review. We have in our mix, uh, we have been giving a site map showing 49. I got the back one here. Six. We also have a layout of the bedrooms and uh, dialogue um, from the uh, city planner concerning the layout and the structures. Um, why don't I start with Paul Lowe and he can, the city planner, and he can discuss uh, what's been done so far. Is that okay for you? That is fine. Okay. Uh, just a Discuss the site for the project specifically before we begin. Uh, it is this would, this project is located on Stewart Street, uh, which is an R3 multi-unit residential zone uh, on the near East Side Mill Street area of Athens. Uh, the project includes two four-bedroom units and then a third floor, which will have one three-bedroom units for a total of 11 beds. Uh, the site is located in our floodplain. And it is in compliance with Athens City Title 25 for flood damage prevention. Um, it is an existing property that Mr. Cody will be building onto. And he provided to myself and John Paskey uh, significant and acceptable documentation of the appraised value of the property to show that the project that he is doing does not trigger the substantial improvement requirements of Athens City Code, meaning he is not doing a project development that is greater than 50% of the current, the existing building value. Uh, John and I do have that on file. It is adequate for our needs. Uh, so this project does not need to be elevated above the base flood elevation for that area. Okay, and presently it is how many bedrooms? The present property is... Two, two. Oh, sorry, two, two. Uh, four, two, two. Four, two, two. Four, two, two. Four, two, two. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going from eight to 11. Correct. Yes. Just wondering. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, this is on Stewart, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, and the project has been reviewed by the Athens City Shade Tree Commission on September 10th and was uh, approved based upon the drawings that were provided. And these are the same drawings that the three of you have today. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then on that staff memo, there are additional comments, including comments from our code director, our fire chief, um, our police chief, and our public works director. So. Would you like us to go through those comments? Um, I assume they've been addressed. Uh, the parking, it looks like the size needs to be altered, if I'm yes. it correctly. It has not been addressed yet, but uh, I've talked to Mr. Cody and, and the architects should change it. I think it was a nomenclature error on the prints that they can get the uh, 9 by 20 feet instead of the 9 by 18. So they can't that, be. that needs to be altered on the drawings, and then I'll see to that that it is when they come in for the, the permit application for the building. It was actually a mistake made by the, by the architect. Yeah, so. the architect. They did it in a hurry. So the layout is as shown as, as inaccurate. Is that what you're telling me? It's inaccurate. Well, yeah. At 49 in the back of the property where it says 18, that should say 20. And you can make the change right now as far as that goes because there's plenty of room that you can see right. for the 20. And that and it is 20 all the way across. That so the, the drawing is to scale and is accurate. And it's I, the labeling that's wrong. That's incorrect too. Um, I measured it out, it does scale out at 18 feet, so that's why I didn't just change it. It does need to be, but it, 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 you're right, they do have room 
to make it into 20 foot lengths, but it is that does scale out to 18 currently. Oh, okay. They so. do. I'm sorry, I thought it. Uh, Are we talking about the map of the territory right now? The, I'm sorry. What did you scale out? I scaled out on the drawings, the site plan. It does scale out as a 9 by 18, and that's exactly what it is indicated on there. It needs to be a 9 by 20. He does have room to make it into a 9 by 20. Okay. Okay. So those lines will be need to, need to be redrawn. Um, a driveway of Port, uh, the other one was the uh, opening 12 feet wide max. I assume that's been addressed. Right, Andy and I discussed that on Friday. This is um, the one on Union? Off of uh, State, I mean, I'm sorry, off of Stewart. Stewart. That uh, the driveway shouldn't be wider than the actual access aisle into the parking lot. Otherwise, somebody pull and hit the side of a car. Uh, ah, yes, I, I see think that's just kind of drawn too wide and it can be narrowed down as well. It's a maximum of 12 foot, which is what our city code is anyways on access or driveway accesses for this type of use. Okay, and I see the updated uh, draft has a response concerning Chief Troxel's questions, I believe. Um, Correct. The uh, I've included the response from Panic and Null on the second page there that shows how the fire suppression or the fire walls will be worked. And I believe according to John Paskey, it does, uh, that is satisfactory to fire code. Right. This is 49. Um, that's for 56. Oh, excuse me, that's right. Yes. Um, okay, do you apologize. 49 is a little different situation um, in regards oh, to what 56. the code requires. And okay, I have we're looking at 56. 49 is the one you're talking about, right? Correct. Yeah, right. 49. It, it, I have spoken to Mr. Cody this morning and I did some further investigation. And he will be required to put separation between the second floor and the third floor. But under the building code of existing structures, um, he will not have to re be required to separate between the existing first and second floors. So. Um, but he will have to between the th second and third, since that is a new improvement in alteration, as well as protecting the uh, the stairwell for egress, which uh, I talked to him about this morning, and and uh, he will do, and I'll make sure that I see that when he submits for the building permit application that everything is done accordingly. Okay. And. Um, can we go back to code the uh, deed restricted parking? Um, Sherry Gall called me just before I came here and said she's got everything drawn up uh, upon approval of through planning commission. She'll get it recorded for one spot to of uh, the other project at 56 to be deeded to this one. So to accommodate for the 11 parking spaces. He has 12 on the other site. And again, we only need 11 people or have 11 people there. So one spot can be deeded to this one. At this time, you were unclear of how many bedrooms At this, when you wrote this? I, yes, on the other building. Um, this one, I've known all along that it was a 443. The other one, Mr. Cody, at first when we talked, was a 444. Now he's saying it's going to be a 443 and will have to be in order to have yes. adequate parking. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. And, uh, okay, do you want to cover public works before we jump to that? Andy's here. Andy? Um, I see there's mostly, it looks like sidewalk problems or sidewalk mm -hmm. issues. This particular property didn't have a sidewalk in front of it okay. um, uh, before. Um, <clears throat> part of the requirement, or part of what they had to do when they, uh, to, to do the improvements on the building was take out a sycamore tree in the beginning. I believe, I don't know if you want to talk about the Shade Tree Commission, part of the uh, agreement the agreement with the Shade Tree Commission is plant the new trees, put in a sidewalk in the location where the sycamore used to be in front of the facility. And Mr. Cody's indicated he's going to do that. Um, I put in my comments to install an ADA ramp at the corner of Union and Stewart. Mm -hmm. um, Right now, Mr. Cody indicated that we did not install an ADA with the truncated domes on the other corner, which would be the north uh, east corner, when we did the Stewart Street improvements. And I didn't recall not doing that, but that's very possible that we didn't put the, uh, the truncated domes there uh, in that ramp. Um, there needs to be a ramp of some sort, okay. um, even if we don't get the truncated domes there to be 100% ADA compliant. Um, uh, of note, 
Um, there is a result. There is a utility pole um, that constricts the corner. I don't know if you're looking at the plans right now. Existing PT, it says, or is this? Yeah, it's it's existing power pole, and um, you know the plans did not show um, how we we're going to accommodate that pole or how we we're going to accommodate getting a sidewalk around that pole. Um, I did contact AEP, um, and they said that you know certainly we could compel. Um, we could. We could ask them to move the pole and then bear the expense, whether or not we bear the expense or, or Mr. Cody bears the expense based on our requirements um, would, is immaterial to AEP, but they said, yeah, we could move it, but that would be pretty, uh, pretty significant, a significant cost. An option, um, as we've looked at this, um, to meet ADA guidelines would be to adjust the sidewalk, um, goes around the utility pole, and uh, so long as we get 38 inches at that, at that constriction, Will still be within ADA guidelines, so um, it's kind of going to have to be field adjusted with the contractor um, who's putting in the sidewalk. I think we can probably do that without moving the pole. Okay. Um, Go ahead. You said 38 inches at the construction. Uh, at the construction, um, four feet to an, is the minimum for ADA for the the sidewalk width, and then you go down to 38 inches at a construction. That's allowed. Um, a couple of the other comments uh, they already addressed with the allowable driveway cut, um, and, and that had to do with the parking space as well. That's just based on a residential uh, use. You know, our typical subdivision regulations say 20, 10, 20, 30 um, for residential, uh, business, industrial standard curb cuts. That's subdivision regulations, though. Um, in this case, uh, a 12 foot, 12 foot driveway cut is appropriate, um, and he can he can narrow this curb uh, to make that fit. Um, Mr. Cody indicated he's going to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I did say provide a curb detail. Um, that's simply because there was no curb detail shown on the plan. There is an existing curb there. Um, and uh, the, the curb that there is appropriate so long as it matches what is there. Um, and then I said provide construction side or sidewalk construction detail, um, which was not shown on the plans, just, just so we know what the sidewalk is going to be. I said five, four foot wide, four inches thick, classy cut. Okay, and that's given given to you, or will no? Be? That's what I asked for based on the review of the plans. Um, Mr. Cody indicated that's what he was going to do. I just hadn't seen another sort of plan. So assuming that that is indeed what they're going to do, I don't necessarily need to see another uh, plan. But uh, at the time, I was just going off of a piece of paper. So and may I say I did not get his request until Monday afternoon. So I literally have not had enough time to respond to some of his requests. Okay. Um, Stormwater but I will comply. There's no issue in my okay. case. Now we've resolved all the issues. The um, the other comments on our from our standpoint is the uh, the stormwater drainage. Um, the the plans that we received didn't indicate any uh, uh, any drainage plan. Um, I said provide a, a drainage plan. Just how are you going to drain the water? Um, I subsequently went out in the rain after we did our review and looked at it. There's really not a drainage issue as it stands right now. He's not really changing the footprint of what is there. Um, so I, I don't really have a requirement for him to, uh, to, to upgrade that. Um, the water meter pit shown on the plans uh, currently is shown in the middle of the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Cody indicated that uh, based on uh, his contractor's discussions with Nick Joseph um, that we'll put the, water, the new water meter pit in and we will put it behind the sidewalk when we put it in. Um, the, it's just that, again, reviewing the plans, the proposed location of water meter pit wasn't shown. So if I were to look at another set of plans, I would want to see it on the back side of the sidewalk. But Mr. Cody indicated that that is indeed where the water meter pit will be, will be behind the sidewalk. Um, lastly, the sanitary sewer. Um, the lateral that's existing there now is four inches. Um, I, I don't believe that's an appropriate um, uh, lateral size for, for a, an 11 this one's going to be 11, yeah. correct? Yeah. For an 11 bedroom apartment complex. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I believe a six inch lateral is the most appropriate um, size, uh, unless someone can provide me calculations otherwise that say a four inch is suitable. Uh, Mr. Cody indicated that, uh, that we're going to have to change the connection in the street if, um, if he upgrades his sanitary lateral to six inches. And I said that we're willing to do that as part of the tapping process. Um, I just think that we'll will save on um, potential clogs down the road. 
Okay. Um, a couple of questions. Um, one that you said you went out there during rainstorm. Uh, I've seen Title 41s that actually have um, schematics of where the lines are, where the water lines are, where the sewer lines are, nearest utilities. Um, there's not really much on this map about that. Mm -hmm. So I assume when you're going into, a, let's say for sanitary in particular, let's say you're going into six inch to what? Do you know at hand or does anybody know? There, six inch, okay, you're, you're, we're going, you're going to expand the sanitary sewer line uh, from four inches to six inches. Yes. I have to assume it's going to go into at least another six inch or greater. The, the main on Sewer Street is an eight inch main. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. It's, okay. it's the lateral from the city's Stewart Street over to the curb, which is a four inch. So okay. the city will have to dig up, and that line, my crew's literally been digging this week to try and find it so I can furnish that information, and that line appears to go like this, approximately. I, I've got it straight, but it actually slants. Right. So it comes out here, that is the correct location. Right. But we've discovered that it slants like this. Right. And we okay. will do that tab. I mean, as part of, um, you know, if this were a new build, um, Mr. Cody would pay his tap fees, and then within six weeks, we would get scheduled that we would do the tap on the other end. Typically, we do the tap and ask folks to come to us. Um, that way, we can tell them where the grade is and stub out to them, and then they just tie it in on their end, as opposed to trying to adjust the grade. Because uh, sometimes, if a, if a builder builds first, um, if they come in too low or too high, um, you know, the city going to them sometimes is challenging. So we try to go first, but uh, you know, once people pay their tap fees, we we try to work out as uh, with the contractor as close as possible um, to to meet. You know, um, at this point, it sounds as though Mr. Cody's in, uh, intent is to build as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So we'll try to accommodate his schedule as best we can. Okay. Um, okay. In terms, again, look at this map that doesn't have the layouts of these things. You mentioned being down there for a water event, a rain event. Where is the nearest storm sewer opening? Right. Yeah, there is a storm catch basin that, that's not shown on these plans at that's the, the south, I'm um, at the southeast corner, correction, southwest corner of the property on Seward Street. Southwest. Um, there is also a, a catch basin at the, um, uh, yeah, there's a catch basin over on the Union Street side at the north uh, east corner of Union and Stewart, and there's a catch basin at the southwest corner of Union and Stewart. Um, there is not any type of storm facility um, on his property on the side of them. There is no storm on East Union uh, beyond Stewart Street. Okay. Um, I, I will put um, gutters all along the side of the building carrying all the water to the front, and then I will take it down and put it into PCV and run it out to the street. So I will collect all of the roof water and run it to the street. This is somewhat elevated here so that the water naturally, quite a bit elevated, the water naturally runs this way or this way or that way. So that it, the, there's no real um, drainage problem on the property that I can see. And I, I will actually improve it by putting in those gutters and running it out to, to Stewart. We just have to yep. make sure that where you go underneath the sidewalk is you know, I'd, I'd prefer it to go and plumb it straight, straight into a storm line as opposed to just a gutter. Uh, I could do that if you'll make a cut for me. Because your, I think your storm line is out here. Right. So if you'll, well, before we put in the sidewalk, that, I'd be happy to do that if we could make a cut. Right. So again, I'd have to work with you on that. But I'd be happy to do that. That's the right way to do it. Okay, other questions, issues? Is there going to be drainage on the parking lots as well? Or? You know, it's a, it was an existing parking lot. And I, I was speaking to the fact that it's quite raised and the water okay. runs down off of it. It's okay. And it was pre-existing. It was that way when I bought it. Okay, other um, questions? Other points to be raised? Paul, John? Uh, we'll just one other point from the staff memo relating to the police chief. Mm -hmm. I don't think we covered that yet. No. Uh, his comment, project should have lighting for the parking areas that remove shadowed areas where crime could occur. So That's I, don't, no I don't think Mr. Cody has any issue with yeah, lighting. Okay. safety lighting. Okay. 
And I can say that he did go through the Board of Zoning Appeals as well for his setbacks in October and got approval there. Okay, so he's coming to Tree Commission and the Zoning Board? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Questions, Paula? No. Harry? Nope. Okay, so in, in totality, this is mostly in place. I think the only thing is some conditions in terms of where the, uh, some of the openings, ramps, if I understand it, and movements of uh, the water meter. Um, sidewalk around the pole. Sidewalk around the pole, mm -hmm. okay. So and those are the issues right there. For, for the the deed restricted parking. Okay. Deed restricted park. I thought that was disappearing, no? Oh yeah, deed restricted I mean, parking, yeah. Yeah, now, goal. with regards to the access to the utilities, I did provide, and Mr. Goody just got it today because it didn't come out, but a, a, a calculation of tap fees on the chain of use for this property. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, part of the utility cut, you know, us providing the cuts in the street, typically they don't do that until people pay their tap fees. And so he's uh, indicated that he'll do that and we'll come out and, and then we'll make the cuts on our end. And, them tied in but uh, I just I guess what I don't want to do is go and walk out of here and say uh, him disagreeing with the tap fees mm -hmm. and and, uh, and then we uh, for this uh, one no then, <laughs> the other one's a, it's a big issue but uh, okay um, so you're saying the tap fees have to be paid up front before you start cutting that's typically the way that no we, problem that's how it should go to, to help Andy um, out here we, we come up with a new uh, permit form recently and once the title 41 approval is issued he still has to come in for the permit process on the other and all of andy's concerns all like you and i've talked before will be dealt with on that as well so with our little checklist and check system we're doing we'll still go through the same process on this as we are some of the other projects so i think that'll a little check and balance system for us as well yeah i don't know that it would be necessary to put that as the condition since it's already just Part of process. the accepted yeah. process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. that the tap fee. That sure. Like that. Yeah, and, and that yeah. is. And it's the process I specifically with the taps and such, I guess that's mm -hmm. the And offhand, what is the size of the line going into someplace like that? Two inch? One. One and a half. Water? Water. 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 Uh, three quarter inch. Three quarter, quarter inch. And you can run uh, leather beds off of three quarter inch? In this <laughs> configuration, yeah. Now, depending on the, the the distance that you go back, you do have friction loss that you'll, you'll like, we have another one that we're looking at here recently for a tap of a single family that wouldn't come before this body um, on Hawking Street. That's, it, it, it goes back quite a, quite a greater distance off of the right of way to the, to the new facility and the line's gonna have to be increased in size in order to provide the flow that they'll need volume wise. Yeah. But in this instance, three quarter inch should serve them. Okay. Okay, any other questions? Harry? Nope. Okay. Paul? How about a motion then to approve this under Title 41 with conditions? Do we have a motion? See, I can make the motion to approve this with the conditions of deed restricted, deed restricted parking space, uh, compliance with public works as identified. Do I need anything else? Parking space sizes. Parking spaces. Parking. I did Dimensions. that one first. Oh, the parking. Dimensions, yes. Mm -hmm. From uh, 9 to, uh, was it eight, 20 to 18, is it? 12 foot curb cut. 9 to 20. Well, how about compliance with the code there as outlined <laughs> in Public Works? <laughs> yes, they know either way, so. Second. Thank you. Any more discussion on this? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The next one is case. I lost my. Uh, next one is case 0910. This is again uh, the Cody's Rentals, 56 Stewart. It is another title 41 site plan review. Um, it is again on Stewart Street. Uh, I think it is, if I understand correctly, we're talking about again 11 beds. Yeah, very similar project actually, Mayor. Um, okay. Or 12. I see 12 parking spaces. Yes. 
this was that easy? Mm -hmm. I don't know how he did it either. I, must, <laughs> must be the doctor part of <laughs> Dr. Cody. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. V very similar project, uh, same zoning, same area of town. Uh, this project, it is a new construction, and uh, Mr. Cody's project will be compliant with uh, uh, Athens City Flood Damage Prevention. The lowest floor will be elevated one foot above the base flood elevation. Uh, foundation, et cetera, will all meet, uh, be compliant with flood damage prevention as well. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Cody has been issued a base flood elevation by us, and uh, as he's well aware that the uh, elevation certificate, that is a FEMA document, must be provided upon completion of the project to certify that it meets code, and at that point, uh, uh, until that is provided, occupancy cannot occur. Okay. This project also was reviewed by the Shade Tree Commission back on September 10th, uh, and it was approved by them based upon the drawings that were submitted then, which are identical to the drawings you have today. Okay. And we've got similar comments relating to parking. Uh, the parking, the drive 9 by 18 as shown, and John needs 9 by 20. Uh, there is documentation of fire suppression. Uh, the fire rated walls, fire which was separation. fire separation, excuse me, mm -hmm. uh, which was included on there to show that it does meet fire the fire code. Chief Trocto has additional comments, which are standard relating to the location of lock boxes, uh, ingress, egress, etc. The police chief has uh, identical comments about the, uh, the lighting. lighting in the rear or lighting in the parking lots. I don't believe Mr. Cody has any issues with that. Okay, and then we have details discussion about public works again. Okay, and I see that uh, BZA also approved it. Yes, for setbacks. same meeting in October. Okay, and I see you just presented a letter for the... Uh, uh, he does have the access from easement from OU. Okay. That will have to be recorded. Um, okay. So that'll be something that uh, will require before any other permits are issued. And then the parking does need to be changed. I do have a concern on this one. Again, it is scaled properly to the mentions, so Mr. Cody, you might want to get with them. I don't know exactly how you're going to get it to fit. It, it could be could be a situation there, but I think you got room to play with it to make it work. But um, And then you are confirming that it is an 11 bed, a 443. Yes. So the 12th parking space is, is, is the one that's being deed restricted over 249 as per your conversation with Sherry Hall. Okay. She will record it today or tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Um, Public Works, Andy, anything? Um, on my comments, um, at the time when we were reviewing these uh, these plans, uh, we were still tracking the 12 uh, the 12 bedrooms, so that was what we were basing all of our comments on. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the curb cut uh, detail uh, we, uh, and the uh, curb detail, rather, uh, as well as the sidewalk construction detail. Uh, when we were looking at the plans, we hadn't gone down and looked at the property itself yet. There was no detail for, for curb or, or sidewalk. There is, exists uh, a sidewalk there at the time. Mr. Cody doesn't intend to change what's there, and we didn't have any requirement for any additional. Um, because there is a sidewalk that exists now in front of the property. Uh, it's not like 49 where they had to build one. So those two comments can be struck um, from the, from the, um, uh, our comments. With regards to the easement, John already mentioned it. Mm -hmm. um, on the storm drainage, um, the plans that we had didn't show any storm system. Um, and given that the, the, the increase of the, the, in this particular case, the, the footprint of that parcel was going to go from just a building to a building in a paved parking lot. Um, they really needed to have a storm system. Um, Mr. Cody indicated there is a storm system there um, that that he put in or will put in as no, part, it's in. It's in as part of this project. It wasn't shown on the plan, so we didn't we didn't know. He's going to uh, share that um, information with us uh, as to where that plan is. Apparently, it drains the parking lot as well as the roof. Uh, the roof of the existing structure, and they're going to plumb the new building into that. Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have any comments on the water. Uh, the sanitary lateral, again, we said six inches um, as opposed to four. Um, and we, we will indeed do a six inch tap for them in the street. Um, of note, um, the number of rooms um, 
that uh, our number of bedrooms is going to change significantly in this versus the existing single family home that was there. When I did the TAP fee calculations on this, I created a document that came back with our, our, our plans. Yeah, Mr. Cody just got it today, so he hasn't had a chance to review it. Um, I, I anticipate, and I, I based it on, on the you know, 2007 ordinance that you know, sets the TAP fees based on equivalent residential units. Um, it was based on 12 rooms instead of 11, so there is there there will be a little bit of a de decrease. But I know that Mr. Cody has a has an issue with the dollar amount because it is quite a bit higher than the 49 Stewart Street, simply because 49 Stewart Street had eight bedrooms, um, and now it's just going to whereas this one had was a single family home and it's going to go to a triplex. So uh, I, I don't know. He, he hasn't had a chance to to really review it and look at it in detail. Okay. Um, again, this is one of these situations where I'm looking at this and I do not see the utilities, which I thought was part of the requirement for uh, Title 41. Um, especially when we look, talk about discuss storm sewer versus um, sanitary. So yeah, yeah well, that was one of the challenges we had in reviewing this is the existing um, well, public, right, I mean, the laterals are shown, but the existing um, lines that are there are not are not showing so how they tie into the existing lines I don't understand I don't understand the question normally when okay. somebody builds something they have a surveyor go out and shoot in the existing lines they call it mm -hmm. oops and they say they say okay there's a uh, um, the, the sewer line is here the water line is here mm -hmm. the, I'm saying the main um, yeah they're right then, on here and that well, the mains are not shown the, the the laterals are shown they go to your house well, you but, mean the mains out in the street? Right, right. The, uh, the reason why I'm asking is because I think in the past there's actually been a case where somebody's saying this is where we're going to put the the laterals, I think is the term, what goes from the person's property mm -hmm. to where the city's mm -hmm. infrastructure is, only to find out the infrastructure is somewhere else. Um, and the lines they have drawn are going someplace nowhere to a... But these are already existing, see? So I assume that since they're already existing and they go out mm -hmm. to the street, that... Uh, yeah, oh. And they were functioning, so well, that my logic was... And the, and the question I would have, of course, are they functioning for the capacity that's being generated? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's why I look at this, and maybe I'm being too technical to look at something like this and say, okay, you know, do, does this mean next week after we approve this, we have to go tear up Stewart Street to, to widen the lines because we've added uh, 11 more beds to the place? I see. Well, or 22 or, or whatever. Right. Well, the gas is not an issue. We've discussed the sewer line. Yes. That's already, uh, we've agreed, mm -hmm. city will do the cut, uh, the, the upgrade. We'll increase the tap to six inches increase in the, the street. Increase the tap to six inches in the street. And, in the street. Puts in a and six I inch. will put a six inch in on my part. That's left with the water. What's the water line? The water line is sufficient. That's what I okay. thought, too. So, sorry. Now, that's okay. Well, that's it. I, I would have thought that would be something that would have been addressed in the city council meeting. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
which right. is why you need the letter. Okay, mm -hmm. makes sense. Right. And so people coming out that way have a choice of either going down the alleyway to East Union or turning around and going out Stewart Street through the OU parking lot. Exactly. Okay. So both properties have that ability to exit or, or enter on both Stewart and Union. Okay. So pretty good traffic flow considering. Mm -hmm. In Athens, it's often <laughs> tricky. <laughs> okay, other questions? Okay. Harry? Nope. Other commentary? John, no. Paul, and Yeah. No. No. Not yet. Okay, so what remains to be done right now is changing the, if I understand, changing the configuration of the parking to, uh, to the 10 by 18. 10 by 20. Or 9 by, by 20. 20. Okay. The access easement needs recorded. Okay. We must put in there the compliance with the um, floodplain regulations. Is it 9 by 20 or is it 10 by 18? Which one? Is Either 20? or. Okay. 180 okay. square feet. 180 square foot. Okay. And okay. okay, do I have a motion? Did you, Mayor, did you put uh, public works? We need to include public Satisfaction of public works relating to Mr. Cody confirming that the storm system is installed. Okay. Just to make sure that's included. That and the sanitary sewer, so if we're able to just say public works Correct. with the removal of the sidewalk and curb issues. Okay. And adequate lighting in the parking lot. Mm. Okay, so I would move that we accept Title 41 uh, with those caveats being, of course, the recording of the uh, easement from OU, the change of to 180 square feet parking spaces. Um, also, that this will reflect the 12, uh, the 11, occupancy of 11, mm -hmm. um, as well as addressing the issues of the storm, storm drainage and the sanitary sewer being six inches. Did I cover everything? Did you get floodplain in there? Floodplain, no, I did not okay. get floodplain. Yes, you're right. I wrote it down okay. and thought I said it at the same time. Um, so that's what I put forward. Any more discussion on this? Okay, so you'll have lots of work to do, it sounds like, and you'll be working, I guess, with us to make sure everything goes correctly. Do I have a vote? Aye. 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 So you've got it. Thank you. Okay, next. You know, I keep throwing my... Uh, Agenda later. Okay. Next are communications. I have no communications at this time. Um, any communications from anybody? Um, okay. Is this where we could talk about the um, B2D uh, hearing? Okay. You want to talk about B2D hearing? Oh, when to set it up? Right. Okay. Let's have that communication. Go for it. Yes. It's my understanding from the last meeting that you had requested that we hold it when the students are back in. So some internal discussion is such if we advertise it during the month of oh, December, oh, I, then I was January. Just, I was just uh, suggesting that the public meeting. I think somebody from the audience made a, I don't know if it was a jest or a feature that we can have it include the students. Include the students and, so since there's like a 30-day requirement for notification, is the Planning Commission comfortable with having advertising in January and setting the hearing date the 1st of February? How does everybody feel about that, Harry? <laughs> advertising January for a public hearing in February. Okay. Is that okay? That okay. Mm -hmm. We will do that then. Um, I think one thing I'm still trying to find is the actual number for commercial parking spaces. Is that possible to gather that up? Yeah, I had it on the uh, last one from the report that was done before. But we can do a, a 
we'll kind of this reinvestigate that and see what we got. So of the area that's being changed? Yes. Okay. Which would be everything uh, the everything north of State Street, I believe. Could have done that last week. Never thought about it. What? Could have done that when we were patrolling last week. I should have thought about it. Probably so. <laughs> Again, it comes down to commercial parking or parking that would be uh, free to, uh, to turn into residential. Okay. I know there's a memo out there that's been floating around for a couple of years, but I think it's probably inaccurate since there have been some changes. Well, the numbers were listed uh, <coughs> in the uh, city council minutes, minutes. Yeah. but that's the only thing we've been able to find on them. So okay, we can re reinvestigate and see what okay. it is. That's actually like secondary or tertiary information. If right. You think about it. Um, anything else in communications? Uh, I'm just going to ask a question about uh, the uh, grants. Uh, Fixing up Jeff Hill, mm -hmm. yes. and uh, are there any other things, uh, any other issues, precluding maybe the study of uh, that turning into two-way street, apart from the parking down at Jeff at the bottom of Jeff Hill? I mean, making it a two-way street, right? Mm -hmm. That would be a question for Andy. Unfortunately, he just left. Uh, as far as I know, we were just going to replace the. the not really change so much the width or the dimensions of it, but really just resurface it, uh, fix the infrastructure and these resurface it. Okay. And we weren't going to go much more than that. So no traffic at that point, or no traffic, or there would be. There will be traffic. Okay. There'll be probably one the way. One way. One way. One what, way was up. It originally, uh, one way up. It was always a one way. Up there. Used to be. Yeah. 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 Harry. As far as I remember, it used to be one way. Yeah. Uh, I was just wondering because uh, I remember a dividing line years and years ago that was fading. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, with the density uh, increasing down in that area, um, you know, would it possibly make sense to, to review that and maybe think of it as a, as a possible two way? Street, you know, connecting from the downtown area and being able to shoot into uh, basically the, the expanded density of Stewart uh, as opposed to going around, uh, making up you know, basically this the big roundabout there off of Mill Street. Mm, good question. Um, I tell, tell you the truth, I if we had thought about that, we probably would have asked for more money. <laughs> I think at one point we were looking, saying, you know, we're. I think we were awarded three hundred thousand. Just, um, just under three hundred thousand. Course, like um, the grant was actually mm -hmm. to the max you could actually go for the grant uh, was about four hundred thousand. Without losing points. Um, so I don't think we're even thinking of turning, changing any of the configuration in terms of sidewalks or um, footprint. Now there has been some discussion. Actually, Ohio University brought it up at our weekly meeting regarding placement of meter spaces down there in Jeff Hill because what's happening now is they get the storage parking. Mm -hmm. People we got ditch them for 10, 12 hours at a time. Mm -hmm. So that's something we, we are going to look at. In the past, we had meters there right, about five years ago, four years ago. Before me. Okay. So. There used to be meters down there, which was quite a chore for the, the parking force when they wandered down. <laughs> Good exercise. I've had that. <laughs> I don't, I don't know um, what it would take to do that. I, I looked at trying to make a two-way of that being problematic on the top end, mostly because I don't see a lot of width there to make a turn and leave a lot of room for somebody coming in at the same time as out. In other words, going up the hill, and they, have, they really have to have a stop sign there so they can check the traffic, and then you're going to have people who can scoot down straight across, mm -hmm. as well as make that turn. And I think it's the turn, because the width I don't think is there. But this you is have, just my have no. Well, if you're talking about what on college from college to you um, know, University, university Terrace, to, University Terrace to right. Jeff Hill. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 you could have like a no turn, no right turn. So you most of the travel the traffic was going straight east on East Union down the hill. Right. Something we look at. Um, I think we'll probably. You know, I think the assumption is it will be like it used to be, which is up one way uphill. I don't think we'll change that, but I don't know. It depends, I guess. I, I can get you a response from Andy. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Any other questions? Could they ever think about turning the, uh, the spaces down there, uh, not necessarily to metered spaces again, but as a, a median for trees? Uh, 
basically you've got a lot of which new space? increased uh, buildings going in there to possibly, you know, throw some trees in between the, the sidewalk and, and West Union. Extending the sidewalk and putting a tree line in. Okay. It's a possibility. We'll kick that around. I don't think anybody's thought in terms of that. Um, You're talking about on East Union or West Union? East on Union. East Union. Down at the bottom of the hill where right. the meters are? Yes. Right. By Jeff Hill. Basically right, right next By to Jeff, Jeff Hall. Jeff Hall. Jeff okay. Hall. And just putting some putting some trees in there? Yeah. Kind of dotting where the meters are? Just to, just to, because you're, you're basically yeah. opening that area up now to just so many parking lots, expanded parking lots, whatnot. That, We suggested a tree commission. I'll say, yeah. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> and if the, if the I don't think it's been brought up. Go down there and check the meters anyway. <laughs> well, I have asked a high university to look at having improved lighting in that area. It's partnering now, of course. Everything's predicated on finances. So. I'm just thinking too in terms of what I think was originally planned for like Stimson, as far as you know, putting a little bit more uh, greenery, in greenery in there. Kind of bring it all together. Okay, it's an idea. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've drawn up the plans. Again, really, it was uh, we were looking mostly at the infrastructure because uh, that's really what's held it up for so many mm -hmm. years is the lack of money to put the storm and, and sanitary sewer, uh, the water and the sanitary sewer in place when it blew out in 2002 or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, it was a perfect fit for this type of ramp project. Okay, report from the uh, city planner. I will keep it real s short today. Okay. We have uh, next Thursday, November 12th, a follow-up meeting for the Bicycle and Pedestrian Master Plan. 12th? Next Thursday, the 12th okay. at 7 p.m. at the Community Center. Uh, at that meeting, we should be discussing the preliminary plan that has been completed through the uh, uh, public meeting that was held back in September, as well as a survey and some outreach that was done. So that'll be coming uh, at the last planning commission meeting. Uh, it was asked that I provide to the planning commissioners more detail about the historic preservation ordinance that I discussed. I have not had a chance to get that to you yet. Uh, I expect to have that for the next planning commission meeting. Uh, Council member Jim Sands provided me with some additional information uh, yesterday or two days ago relating to this back from a task force that convened back in 1992 for the city of Athens. And so there was some useful notes and information in there for me. So I'll be going through that over the next two weeks. Okay. And that's all I have. Okay. And I know Halloween is in between, so you're busy doing yeah. that <laughs> for all of us. Mm -hmm. um, Director, only, only have two items real quick. Uh, the next planning commission meeting, we will have another Title 41 for 551 East State. Um, from Panish and Knoll for a 5,200 square foot building between CVS Pharmacy and Applebee's um, mm. containing Verizon Wireless and Dunkin' Donuts mm. in the same building. And I have the drawings here and I'll give them out to you when we're done here. And then uh, in a couple weeks, I, uh, as we saw today, we'll maybe make a proposal and hope to have a revision to the Title 41, Section 41.09 site plan content outlining requirements needed for submission, so specifically the site plan, floor plans, and building elevations. Mm -hmm. um, currently, the site plan is defined, but could use some improvement to meet the request of our various departments, but nothing is required <coughs> other than a sketch of the floor plans and building elevations. So I think we need to clean this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. so, and then hopefully I can get with all the departments and following the next couple of weeks, if not, you know, the meeting after that, try to clean this up a little bit. Okay, when you say clean it up, what you're talking about is actually changing the ordinance and therefore it has to go to council. It would just be 4109 right now, site plan content, and it has specifics that are required to be on the site plan, um, but there are items that uh, we're finding out that the departments are asking for that are not listed on here. Okay. And yes. the site plan, or the uh, floor plan stuff, uh, and layout in the building elevations, maybe of the materials, the height, those are all issues that I think ought to be looked at as well. So we can just say this is required and we've got a Title 41 application now down our office and I can actually just make a checklist, type it up that we can give to the applicants that they can just check off everything and make sure that stuff's all on the app or the drawings that they give to us so they're not 
incomplete. You know, for example, the, the lines in the road, like you're talking about, we can clarify that that has to be in the road versus just the laterals that were shown on okay. these plans. And so try to, because technically, what well, there was a few items, but technically, what was submitted today was acceptable, and I, I think it needs. We need a little bit more detail than what was provided to us. That's one of my concerns were as well. Uh, the floor plan is, you know, considering how much money that's going to go into this, it's a little bit vague. Right. You know? Agreed. Okay. So we may want to ask for, okay. So to get us to us, if it's anything that's actually reflected in code, we'll have to go to council to get the code changed. If it's just talk, talking about just a checklist, it's not a problem, I don't think. Right. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Let's flip back to the agenda here. Um, opportunity for citizens to speak on items not covered in the agenda. No. Okay. <laughs> um, announcements out of the biz uh, business. Any announcements to be dealt with? No. No? Okay. Uh, next meeting will be November 8th, uh, hopefully at 12, a, 12 p.m. Uh, so that's two weeks from now about. Disposition of minutes. I know we have some minutes here. 14. 18th, sorry, what did I say? I heard 8th. Okay, sorry, it's the 18th. <laughs> it's not coming at us that quickly. So dip, disposition of the minutes of um, October 21st. I would request under <clears throat> case of 908 that the minutes be changed on the conditions. Um, the parcels are to be tied continuously and contiguously. Is the language that you know, and the 16th parking space need deed restricted documentation needs to be supplied. Okay, I agree and with that. Do we need to have a vote on that? Do we have a motion to anything else? Harry? Um, let's see. The Title 25 regulations. Uh, projects meet Title 25 regulations. That's, for, that's the floodplain regulations. Oh, okay. So that's a steward street. And if I remember the, the diagrams, they had some flow through smart grills or something. I forget what they call them. Smart ducks. Um, okay, so how, I, I move we accept the minutes of October 12th. Second. Second. Any more discussion? Harry? Nope. Are you Paula? Nope. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, aye. Um, next on the agenda is the German. Do I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Uh, okay, we're adjourned at uh, 117.